Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and guess what? I'm down with Robin Clever on the Capable Build. I discovered we've got a new studio. Once he's done this out, it's going to be perfect. Anyway, what we want to show you today is a new planer from Triton. Now this is a 180 millimeter wide blade and there are three blades on this planer. So it's a triple blade planer and it's an awesome bit of kit. It's made from magnesium alloy and it does obviously those larger jobs. You wouldn't want to shoot the door down with it, but if you're trying to plane off tabletops, benches when you've done a glue together job or something like that, you're trying to plane off large areas, then this will do it. So it will take up to two millimetres at a time with the adjustment on the front here, but actually I prefer to do it in smaller chunks, you know, like let's take off half a mil at a time, adjust it down. You've also got an adjustment on the front handle here and that allows you to position that front down. You can't go too far down because the handle fouls on that adjustment knob, but if you go to there, and this one on the back is fixed, but obviously that's to keep the back end down because as you come off the end of the material, you've got to keep that back end down similarly when you're starting off. But I don't need to tell you how to plane. If you've planed, you'll know what's going on. Now this is a dust port on one side only. So it's not interchangeable because obviously you've got the belt drive on this side, but it's a 240 volt machine, this, and um, when I first tried it out, it actually blew the fuse. That 1800 watt motor with that startup was enough to blow a 13 amp fuse, but it only happened once. But all I'm saying is if you've got an RCD or something like that, then the, the startup surge might be a little bit too much on some occasions, but no worse than an angle grinder. So if you get problems sometimes when you start an angle grinder up and it trips the RCD, you'll know what I'm talking about. We've got three blades on here and these three blades are reversible so basically you're getting six blades out of it but if you replace them you obviously have to replace all three at once because if you don't and you get a slight imbalance at the speed this thing spins that imbalance turns out to be a huge amount of juddering and vibration so set them in when you tighten them up it's important that you follow the instructions for tightening up if I can do this without cutting my fingers there are some allen keys in there and um, Allen screws, I should say. There are some Allen screws in there and you use the Allen key to tighten them up, but you have to tighten them up in a certain order. So if you look on the instructions, you'll see the way it's done and they're numbered and you tighten them up. So don't just tighten one up fully because you've got to get that thing set in there absolutely perfectly so that you get a smooth operation. But I've been giving it a go on some oak and it's pretty good. It's got a weird little thing here, which is a drop down foot which is not a sprung loaded one like you normally get. It's literally just a flip down foot. Obviously to keep the blade off the work. I've had this Triton oversized planer now for a couple of weeks. Um, this is the one with three blades. It's a really good bit of kit actually. It's not the sort of thing you expect to um, see on site, but it's, it's really good. Now I've, um, I've used it for all kinds of jobs and I'm just gonna sort of give it a quick once over again. This is a bit of glue lamb beam. So it's um, quite tough structural timber. Um, I'm planing acutely across the grain. So um, I'm gonna run this through just to show you how good it is again. <laughs> So, it gives a good finish, which is what you want from a planer. But moreover, it is big, but it is really to easy to handle. So like with any planing operation, whether it's a hand plane or a power plane, you've always got to go in with the pressure through the front. So you don't do this, and when you come out, you've always got to make sure that your pressure is through the back, so you don't do that. But actually, even though it is quite long, that's quite a really easy thing to do. It's well weighted. Um, and at the price point, I reckon this is the sort of tool that a lot of chippies A wouldn't know existed because it's 180 millimeters wide the cut and B, for the money, I think it's a really good thing to have. So I'd imagine 
that um, there'll be quite a take up for chippies like me who are doing a combination of site work, joinery. There are times where you do need to plough through something like this. Might be a wall plate where the brickie's got a bit of a hump in it, which isn't uncommon. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice bit of kit and um, I'll be happy to use it going forward. So just one last thing. Um, I was out in uh, Sainsbury's first thing in the morning, getting my breakfast this week, and um, a chap came up to me and we had a little chat and he said, oh, I've been watching Skill Builder and I really like what you're getting up to on there and what Roger's doing as well. Um, and it was quite nice. And so if any of you see us about in the merchants or even in Sainsbury's, um, come up, say hello, have a chat. It's great if you need um, to, to ask us a particular question and you're not, you don't want to comment on the comment boxes underneath the videos, ask us to our faces. Also, if you know of any products that you really want to sort of find and see, or tools, get in touch with us again by the comment boxes or email us and we'll see what we can do. So thanks. If you're not a subscriber, you can become a subscriber. Our subscribers are growing and uh, we're glad to have you along as a regular viewer.